got around to posting video number two, I'm eating a Kodiak cake, like protein pancakes. This video is gonna be a, <laughs> I'm just waving around the pancake. It's gonna be a booty slash hamstring workout, simple enough for anybody to do, but also just a really good workout in general, so keep watching. I'm gonna be starting off with some straight leg deadlifts. The reason why I'm standing on a weight is because it allows me to bend down further. So for this, you wanna have your legs about shoulder width apart, toes pointing straight. You wanna have a slight bend on your knees and keep your back straight. When you get to the top of the deadlift, make sure you squeeze your glutes. That's what's really going to have a burn in the next day. <laughs> you want to go all the way down to your ankles and then go down below your knees. So we're going to go all the way down and then three-fourths of the way down. Well, that was opposite, but you know what I mean. We're going to go back and forth with the two ten times for a total of four repetitions. So then we're going to move on to sumo deadlifts. So this means that your legs are going to be wider than shoulder width apart and toes are going to be pointed slightly out. You still want to make sure that you go three-fourths of the way and then all the way down, really squeezing the glutes when you get to the top, just like that. And again, you're going to be doing this for four sets of ten. What I actually like to do is I like to go back and forth between the regular deadlift and the sumo deadlift. So I'll do ten sets of the straight, the regular leg, and then I'll go into the sumo, and then I'll go back and forth between the two. That really gives me a burn and workout. Ooh, I freaking love these. These are really good for the glutes. So it's pretty much a basic lunge. Only difference is you're staying on one leg and you're gonna lunge for 10 reps on one leg, then switch to the other. So this one is really good because the Smith machine allows for a really good balance. Try doing this on a regular way, a regular barbell. It is kind of hard to keep your balance. So I like doing it on the Smith machine and you really feel it in your glutes. So when you get to the top, squeeze the glutes. And this is good for your quads too. to barbell hamstring curls. These are good because having the free weight barbell allows you to focus more on balance, putting more pressure on the hamstrings. These also for some reason work out my quads, so that's good. Have your knees kind of hanging off, so just do four sets of 10 as well. I like incorporating hamstrings with my booty workouts just because, you know, it adds more What's a butt without freaking legs? Come on, like really. Next, we're gonna be doing some straight leg dumbbell deadlifts. This is pretty much same idea with the barbell we were doing earlier, the straight leg deadlifts. Only difference here is you have the dumbbells and just doing the dumbbells allows me to focus more on my glutes. So when you get to the top, squeeze the glutes. Always keep your back straight, remember, have a slight bend on the knees and really relax your arms. Your arms don't need to be holding any weight. Just really have your fingers around the weight and put all the pressure on your butt and your hamstrings. Next are Romanian split squats. These are probably the single most important glute exercise you will come across. No, I'm joking, it's one of the best though. So this pretty much is a little bit more difficult to get a hold of. You can put your foot on the bench directly or have it placed like mine I, I just feel more comfortable doing it like this so kind of have a wide stance have two weights at your sides and lunge it's pretty simple so we're gonna be doing this for four sets of ten actually this is probably the most important workout for building a booty this is called a hip thrust and you just want to have a your back on the bench a barbell on your hips and you want to push up squeezing your glutes when you get to the top I like using the preloaded barbell just because it's smaller and more comfortable for me. But you can use whatever you feel like. Moving on to rope pull throughs. You want to have your legs a little bit further than shoulder width apart. Keeping your back straight, you want to pull the cable through your legs. Remember to push with your hips and squeeze your glutes when you get there. We're going to be doing four sets of ten. Oh, here they 
Next we're doing cable kickback. So for this, pretty simple. You want to hold on to that bar in front of you, kick your leg back, bending it there, straighten it out there, and we're going to be doing four sets of 10 reps on each leg. For this, you also want to remember to keep your back straight and squeeze your glutes when you get to the end of the kick. And of course, you can't forget your basic lunges. So for this one, I want to have a wider stance with the lunge and point my toes outwards. This is just going to allow more focus on my glutes. And of course, we all want a bigger booty, so why not? We're going to be doing this for four sets of eight. Lastly, a little burnout with some hit cardio or somewhat hit cardio. So we're going to be doing a tri set. A tri set is three workouts back to back without a rest. To start it off, we're going to be doing some banded jump squats. So we're going to be doing 10 of these. You want to go as low as you can. It's really going to have you sweating. These are side walking lunges. We're going to be doing four steps to the right, four steps to the left. You want to make sure you go as low as you can and as wide as you can with the steps. Next, some um, cable kick, cable kickbacks, banded kickbacks. Just keep your leg kind of straight, have a slight bend, squeeze the glute when you get to the top. We're gonna be doing 10 sets on the right, 10 sets on the left. And then you're gonna repeat this whole tri-set anywhere from three to four times, whatever you wanna do, and you're done. It's a good workout. <laughs> 